Just like our Lord Jesus, he's our model, won the victory with the word of God. So for us, we're going to win the victory with God's word. And there are some key verses throughout scripture uh, that if we would put in our arsenal, you know, if we tuck them in our front pocket or, uh, you know, make sure we hide them in our hearts like King David said, we'll find ourselves winning the battle. And the first one I want to bring you to is 2 Timothy chapter 1. 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. Paul here says, For God, for God, this is Theos, this is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. For God, right? This is the God that in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. For God, this is the God that will wrap all things up in the book of Revelation. The God that that controls all things. The God that Isaiah says is seated on the throne and the earth is his footstool. For God has not given us a spirit of fear. Now this is so important. Um, It's so important that we grow in this reality, this realization, that we walk in this truth. For God has not given us a spirit of fear. You know, often fear will come upon us, and it comes upon us in different ways. When I say fear, I'm not just talking about the kid who thinks the boogeyman is in his closet, and because of that, he can't go to sleep, right? We're not talking just about that. We're talking about, for God hasn't given us a spirit of fear. We're talking about anxiety, talking about worry, right? We're talking about doubt, You know, we're talking about being inundated with thoughts and thinking, oh my gosh, how am I going to make it to the next step? It's, it's, it's unraveling and unloosing uh, the, the, the rope that's connected to us that has us docked and peered to Jesus and then wrapping it onto other things. It's a spirit of fear. You know, have you ever experienced a spirit of fear? Have you ever experienced, oh my gosh, overwhelming anxiety, worry? In our world today, we like to call it anxiety. We like to call it depression. I think it's uh, even clinically, um, uh, you know, labeled. Um, but, But the word of God says, if you're a child of God, if you said yes to Jesus, listen, that spirit of fear, God isn't the one that's given it to you. You have an adversary. You have an enemy. And it's important that when a doubt or fear or an overwhelming sensation of anxiety comes over you to, to know God's word and even to say it out loud, for God has not given me a spirit of fear, for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love, and notice here, of a sound mind. So not only do we need to, in the moment, I would encourage you, quote this verse, for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but to realize Number one, what God hasn't given you, but then number two, to realize what God has given you. But he has given you power, that's dunamis power, and you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, right? To remember this, to to quote this, to, to realize this over your life, but of power and of love, this is agape love, but of power and of love, agape, and of a sound mind. A sound mind. So God has given us sobriety, a sound mind, a new mind, right? Paul says to the Philippian church, he says, do you not know that you have the mind of Christ now? God's mind is in you. So we now, God hasn't given us a spirit of fear. The enemy will attack us with that. But what he has given us is power, dunamis, dynamite, power, the Holy Spirit. So in that moment, you could say, you could quote this verse and then you could say, Lord, Baptize me afresh in the spirit. Empty me of all this fear. Empty me of all this doubt of my flesh and fill me to overflowing with your spirit. And you've given me power and you've given me love, agape love. 1 Corinthians 13, love. And God, I pray you'd give me that gift of love. And also, Lord, you've given me a sound mind, a clear mind to think straight. As the enemy would come in and try to jumble up all the all the letters in your mind and make things so complicated. Throw us into paralysis of analysis. Uh, The word of God says, no, God has not given you a spirit of fear, but of power and love and a sound mind. And I want to encourage you, memorize this verse, and the next time the enemy hits you with a spirit of fear or with anxiety, 
quote God's word. Quote God's word. Believe God's word. And watch what the Lord will do. So Father, bless your people. Lord, remind them even today and throughout this week and this month and the rest of their lives that God, you have not given them a spirit of fear, but of love and power and a sound, sober mind. In Jesus' name, amen.